Hi and welcome to the 25th episode of Spaces of Lucidity and since Abhishek is not around and is a huge fan of music like all of us we decided to get on board our friend Aditi uh, who's been writing for music who's been a music journalist for the past 4 years she's been freelancing a lot of, with a lot of uh, magazines and yeah so we're just going to talk about music today <laughs> so Aditi <laughs> yes, how is how has been your experience in uh, discovering new music Well, it's been great. I think uh, I really feel like it's been only in the past five or so years that um, you know the music scene in India has seen a huge boom. You know, especially with so many fests cropping up all over the country. Uh, I really feel like I've grown up with this uh, sort of musical okay. revolution, mm-hmm. yeah. and it's very nice to see how far they've come and where they began from. And uh, yeah, I think you really see a lot of. There's always those, um, you know, one-hit wonders, mm-hmm. those fests that happen once, and then everyone forgets about them. Yeah, yeah. But I think consistency is really the key. You know, I think it's the fests and the uh, the organizations that keep bringing up uh, quality artists, and uh, and they keep coming back with better and better music. And I think our generation, so to speak, is very blessed. At the same time. I think maybe um, a lot of us have been overexposed to the same bands, and I think it's important to grow and not stagnate. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. even if these fests and these artists keep coming back, you have to show your continued support for them and go to the gigs and everything. Mm-hmm. It's very important to support your local scene, mm-hmm. you know, uh, in each city because all over India we have so much potential. There's so much, uh, there's so much music to be explored. Absolutely, I mean, not just. Uh, You know, not there's genres like electronica and dubstep with artists like Bangladesh Project, uh, Nuclear, uh, Blot, Basic Love of Things, Jolis Inquiry. All these guys are really making electronica a very big scene in the country. At the same time, we have all our folk artists like Swaratma, uh, Indian Ocean, um, a bunch of them. You know, so I think it's important to uh, keep yourself open to these genres. Keep yourself open to collaborations with. Uh, Uh, new artists, even if the combination of those genres seems kind of unlikely, you know, at first glance, mm-hmm. give it a shot. Mm-hmm. I think people can be very close-minded about music. Mm-hmm. They can be very presumptuous, and I, I don't think that's a very good way of looking at it. Because um, I don't know. We're not asking you to listen to bad music, but it's important to if someone has come up with a collaboration and one of them is a genre that you're not too familiar with, you should be open to it. And I think. Uh, Yeah, opening doors is important. Yeah, yes. yeah. In fact, but on the same subject, like you know, since we're talking about genres and fusion and all of that, there is uh, there is this one. Uh, I can't say growing trend. There is there has always been this trend between uh, people in general. Like you know, we are we are humans and we like to race and all of that. Uh, when it comes to music, music is such a experience, right? You can't it's you can't. It's such a personal thing. It's right? such a personal thing, right? and it's not it's not something you can put into words it's not necessary that you need to put in words and you know as it's very done to death and said all the time that music is universal language because it needs no language it's a language in itself right uh, but when it comes down to genres and everything i find it really surprising whether i know the genre whether i know the name of the genre or i don't know the name of the genre or whether i can tell an artist while listening to the first note of the song or you know whether i have a 2 tv collection of music or not mm-hmm. my Like my so to say one person's musical experience is never lesser than the other person's musical yeah, experience exactly. and i what, what i find really disturbing is when people start talking music and it I it's know. not about the music anymore i know, you know? i think it's, i think there's this neg- this uh, element of negativity that absolutely. needs to be eliminated from this whole scene whether it's the artists whether yeah. it's the listeners absolutely because it's so irritating sometimes exactly you know there's these people who think oh i i'm so much more aware than you or there's uh, artists that maybe look down on another smaller artist or um, just that sort of negative yeah, it should yeah, be there yeah, music yeah. is love right absolutely it should not uh, yeah. be a clash of egos i mean yeah and especially so because isn't it already enough that this whole industrialization of music and commercialization of music and you know bringing music into the mainstream and you know initially when we were growing up there was there was mainstream cinema and there was art cinema yeah. and now there's mainstream music and then there's you know the festive music yeah, and then there's bollywood yeah, and, and then, then you have your un- yeah then you have your underground music, music. Yeah. and yeah. this this so it's much nice. of, i really think that that's yeah. the beauty of it. exactly you know the 
your musical landscape should be so uh, diverse yeah yeah that it opens up a lot of things yeah, to you as well it's really interesting that there is so many kinds of music yeah. and you know there's there's already such a diverse verification in it but the whole experience of music is not about getting stuck in a genre or getting stuck with a label or getting stuck with you know yeah. having an upper it's hand because of knowledge pride. i really think that people need to have pride in their musical roots exactly. you know what i mean like yeah. if you started off listening to avril lavigne and mm-hmm. simple plan don't be ashamed of it yeah. you know and, and i'm sure like, all of us nice. listen to backstreet boys when we yeah, were in school you know i mean so there's a lot of backstreet boys exactly. shows i'm not saying yeah. be stuck on that all your life <laughs> yeah. but i'm saying but you should take pride in that exactly and be stuck on that all of that it, that brings me to another point where you know people are like oh like it has happened to me when i first discovered pink floyd i was stuck i was stuck for a very oh, long okay. time that's, you know what yeah. i forgive you for that right <laughs> 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 you are completely allowed to be hung up on pink floyd yeah okay. <laughs> but you know a lot of people tend to have have the same thing with a lot of other artists but uh, I understand where people go like don't be stuck or you know where people even be, but I do not understand becoming condescending because at the end of the day that person is experiencing music through that even if it's image ratio me you know I'm going to say it this she <laughs> was said this out loud on video and if it's image ratio me I really do not understand why people look down on people who listen to image ratio me because it's about it's a person thing exactly but what's in your your phone exactly. is not as really right to judge yeah. Yeah. you know I think yeah that's the yeah, as far as point. as far as you're not putting up freaking walls of speakers and subjecting me to your music yeah exactly as far as it's not forced because yeah. that's another way of condescension you know that's that's that's, that's imposing your music on yeah somebody. that's very indirect music nazis yeah, yeah. <laughs> music nazis yeah. yeah so that yeah and again uh, when we talk about collaborations i think they're great i think that uh, again uh, the uh, for the artists as well as the listeners is opening up a lot of new musical landscapes but uh, i think it's very important that uh, you know whoever has contributed to that collaborate gets all the you know all the um, credit yeah, all the royalties yeah, yeah, everything that they yeah, deserve yeah. Uh, recently i was writing an article about rajasthani music for mm-hmm. this magazine called marwar mm-hmm. and uh, very nice people they wanted to they want me to write an article about uh, the role of rajasthani music in indie compositions okay uh, as everyone is aware the independent scene here in india is booming massively especially for the past 5 years so um, yeah and they wanted to uh, they want me to write about rajasthani music and mm-hmm. why it's so distinct you mm-hmm. know not just here but in the global scene mm-hmm. why is it that it stands out in people's minds mm-hmm. and why is it that um, it leaves an impact you know so i read a very uh, interesting article about this Uh, there's this guy called Jacob Edko okay. who is an ethnomusicologist okay and uh, he studies the anthropology and history of music okay. and he also has his own show called Music Voyager okay and it's on TLC and everything so uh-huh. he's a pretty famous guy and mm-hmm. he knows his stuff yeah so he's also traveled around India looking for interesting music mm-hmm. and stuff like that mm-hmm. so he says that it's just you know that that distinct ethnic quality about Rajasthani music everyone <clears throat> just immediately takes up and they know that it's indian yeah. you know they recognize yeah, it yeah. wherever it is yeah, in the world yeah. <laughs> there's a very interesting documentary called uh, lachu drum uh-huh. it was made sometime in the 90s uh-huh. by this french guy called uh, tony gatler for something i'm really bad with names but i think uh-huh. he's, he's the director of this uh, it's a beautiful film it's about gypsies and it's about how um, you know they migrated all over the world starting with india mm-hmm. and then they ended up in spain uh-huh. so how today you know in the strains of their music you can still hear the similarities from both lands uh-huh. and how it's so distinct and it's beautiful how music can sort of weave together the whole anthropology part of it yeah. and uh, everything is so interconnected you yeah. know and there's so many cultural connotations True. i think it's very nice it makes me happy when i watch films <laughs> like this Yeah, like it. It reminds you of how big the world is, yeah, yeah, yeah. how it's still interconnected. True, so that's true. very nice. Yeah. So it's really, really important to be like you know have an open mind and explore and as explore much as you can. And explore as much as you just listen to all the music. Yeah. All the songs you can get your hands on, just listen to them, and then you can make up. You can have your own opinion on it, but don't yes. impose it on anyone else. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. so yeah, I think that's about it for the twenty fifth episode of Spaces of Lucidity. I guess Aditi is going to be sharing a few playlists with us what she has been listening to recently so as soon as the video goes up there will be playlists in the description so do check them out yay and yay other thing thank yeah. you so much <laughs> ah.